incredible world. I'm like Costco. I'm serving ass kicking to both. Since its opening, Costco has expanded to become a global powerhouse in the retail business. It is not only dedicated to providing quality products at the best value, but their formula has proven to be very successful. How do they do it? Here are 10 mind-blowing facts about Costco Wholesale. Cam, what is this place? Membership is golden. You don't have a membership? No. Oh my God. Did you know that unlike many other retailers, Costco rarely makes a huge profit off the merchandise it sells? They do make a small margin of profit by marking up products from 8 to 10% over their cost. After deducting expenses such as real estate costs and employee wages, Costco actually just breaks even. The founder once said that his secret was simple, but was reluctant to talk about it for fear of appearing idiotic. His bottom line was to sell things as cheap as possible. That has always been Costco's mission statement. Deceptively simple, yet elegant. But we all know that what truly drives Costco's profits up is their memberships. 80% of the company's gross profit actually comes from the membership fees alone from its 64 million members. Costco boasts a 90% membership renewal rate in the U.S. That's a lot of customer satisfaction, and the main reason why Costco continues to have such a devoted following. Those memberships are a goldmine. It's like printing my own money. Kirkland's signature is named after a city. Are those Kirkland jeans? Oh, these? Yeah, they are Kirkland. And I'm looking like a boss, though, and head to toe Costco. Did you ever wonder why Costco named their private label and most popular brand of products Kirkland? Well, the answer is because Costco's first corporate headquarters was situated in Kirkland, Washington. The headquarters eventually moved to Issaquah, Washington, but the name stuck. Kirkland's signature, the company's private label, was introduced in 1995. And it's a known fact that the product line is comparable and even at times better than most popular brands. Do you have cola? Kirkland, if you have it. The Kirkland signature label accounts for almost a third of Costco sales. The idea came about when some suppliers wouldn't lower the cost of their products, making it impossible for Costco to give its customers a discount. Please, can you believe those jerks? Costco wanted to be able to provide the lowest prices to its consumers and came up with their signature brand. Horse and buggy. Even though Costco is perceived as modern when it comes to big warehouse shopping in this age of tech, they do have a few clients in Lancaster, Pennsylvania that still live as if it's 1820. Yes, parts of Pennsylvania are known as Amish country. This Costco not only caters to country and city folks, but also to the large Amish population that live nearby. Costco is not only price conscious, but also respectful and considerate towards the Amish community who shop there frequently. You going ahead. I think I'm going to stay here, kick it Amish. Drive into the parking lot of this Costco and you'll be doing a double take. They have designated horse and buggy parking stalls at the entrance of the store. Of course, not all of the parking lot spaces are horse stalls. They do have parking for cars. Well, I should certainly hope so. The horse shelters have rails to tie up the horses so they don't get loose and run around in the parking lot, and roof shields to shelter them from bad weather. Contrary to some beliefs about Amish people, they also need to shop. Yep, even the Amish people need to get their snack fix. Don't judge me, food. Employees are everything at Costco. Costco is known to have a terrific workplace environment. It has a labor force of about 245,000 employees who work either full-time or part-time jobs. More than 80% of the employees at Costco have health insurance and retirement plans. Where do I sign up? Costco employees rarely quit their jobs. Turnover rate for those who have been there for over a year is 5%. Employees also have plenty of other perks, like being able to shop at the store after hours. Most warehouse employees usually work five days per week or 24 hours a week part-time. Most shifts are four to five hours instead of eight hours, and many employees appreciate the work-life balance. This sounds really nice. Costco does this for those who have either long commutes or have to pick up kids at daycare. Costco also loves to promote staff from within. 70% of its warehouse managers either started out as cart pushers or cashiers. I'm ready. Promotion. Another little tidbit, Costco doesn't have a public relations department. They do not believe in one which is an anomaly because most companies never work that way. Talk about confidence. 
Costco Connection magazine. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the Costco Connection here. Costco also has their own dedicated magazine called the Costco Connection. Its circulation is about 14.3 million copies. It is solely geared towards its executive members. Don't fret, you can view it online for free if you are a non-member. You just won't get a copy delivered to your door. Costco basically uses the magazine to keep members hooked to their yearly subscription, with some other perks, of course. Always leave them wanting more. The magazine is great. It features articles about the latest events, cooking, recipes, travel offers, auto services, electronics, and even book reviews. Many of their ads focus on their in-house Kirkland signature brand, but other labels too. There's also a range of home, health, and lifestyle articles. The magazine targets its executive members mostly because they are the bigger spenders and shop more frequently than other members. They also make up 40% of Costco's total membership base. Welcome to Costco. I love you. The magazine not only gives members a sense of being part of the Costco culture, it alerts them to products and services, promotes new ideas, and gives them first-hand knowledge on what is coming up. The magazine also drives sales by 30%, as most of the magazine's subscribers buy a product after they have seen it advertised in the magazine. Prime Beef Talking prime rib in bed. Did you know that Costco is one of the largest meat purveyors in the world? It sells $4.5 billion worth of meat every year and another $4 billion worth of produce. Costco has some of the best cuts, even though it is packaged to feed an army. Costco's vice president of meat operations, Charlie Winters, got his start working for his family's slaughterhouse in Minnesota. He was the pioneer behind Costco's popular meat department and prides himself in selling only the best. Costco does indeed sell USDA-approved prime beef, which is what you find in most top steakhouses, but it's hard to find in your local supermarkets. But buyer beware, it is very expensive. Also, rumor has it that their bacon is one of the best and tastes better than most generic brands. I have seen the face of God. It is also cheaper. If cooking is not your thing, you've got to try the rotisserie chicken at $4.99. They are the best. Costco sells over 100,000 of them every day, more than 37 million a year. How do you even have the time? It's important you find the time. Costco loves nuts. Cashews are mostly native to Brazil, but these days you can find them growing in many other parts of the world. Costco sells $300,000 worth of them every week. Look at this nut mix. It's half cashews. I hope we never land. Costco sources its cashews mainly from Africa and Vietnam. They not only sell cashews, but all kinds of nuts, such as almonds, pistachios, pecans, walnuts, pine nuts, and even macadamia nuts at very affordable prices compared to most retailers. Costco also sells them in bigger quantities compared to other retailers. If you haven't noticed, Costco's cashew containers are also square and not round. They do this in order to maximize space on pallets. If your favorite nut brand does not come packaged in plastic containers, you could probably find them in two-pound Kirkland Signature brand bags. Costco is known for carrying high-quality nuts, so you will never make a bad investment. Nuts! Hot, salty nuts! Who wants them? They are always fresh and of the best quality for the price point. If you are worried about buying nuts in bulk and them going rancid on you, freezing them will extend shelf life. You can make lots of pecan pies and give them out to your neighbors. They will love you for it. And I hereby swear my undying allegiance to you. Howard Hughes Connection It all began with Saul Price and his son Robert, who opened their first store in San Diego, California in 1976. It was supposed to be a new concept in large retail warehousing. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are going to love it. The large warehouse was located on Moreno Boulevard in six old airplane hangars previously owned by Howard Hughes. Yes, the wealthy, reclusive, eccentric business tycoon. Tell him the dream is over. Tell him Howard Hughes said so. It became known as Price Club Warehouse Number 401 and is still in operation today, though the name is now Costco Warehouse Number 401. The idea came about after Price was forced out of a chain of discount department stores that he founded called FedMart. He came up with the idea shortly afterwards and drew up the concept of a warehouse-type store on a paper napkin. He then got some of his friends to invest the $1.25 million needed to start up Price Club. Money me. 
Money now. Me a money needing a lot now. The first week upon opening, sales were very disappointing. To try and remedy this, Price suggested his employees park near the entrance to make it look like there were more customers. It paid off as sales improved and Price Club was off and running. Triggers and treasures. It's a buried treasure! Costco has 762 warehouses worldwide in 11 countries, and it keeps going strong. The average size of a Costco warehouse is about 145,000 square feet, with some newer warehouses being a little larger. The largest is in Salt Lake City, Utah, at 235,000 square feet. But all that space does not necessarily translate to more products. In fact, the typical Costco warehouse only stocks about 4,000 types of items. In contrast to the average supermarket, which sells about 40,000 types of items. So what is it with Costco and its selection? You would think they would have a plethora of items to choose from. The more, the better, right? Oh, but that's where you're wrong. Well, this is a deliberate strategy by Costco. The Costco belief is that you don't need to many choices. They have done all the thinking for you and have chosen the best products at the best price. They are very good at getting wholesale bargains, which they then relay back to you. Three quarters of Costco's products are what it calls triggers, staples such as paper towels, detergents, and cereals. The remaining one quarter are treasures, items that make shopping an adventure. Another strategy that Costco uses is to frequently change up the items offered or sometimes completely discontinuing products altogether. One day it's there and another day it's gone, possibly for good. This creates a sense of urgency to purchase more products. This concept is thrilling for some. It's called the Costco effect. It keeps you hooked, and sometimes it gets you to buy more than you really want to spend. Perhaps if I ask for diapers, it comes back with four dozen muffins. The Merge. Nothing is unwinnable if we join together in battle as one. Costco opened its first warehouse in Seattle, Washington in 1983. It was started by Jim Senegal and Jeffrey Brotman. Jim Senegal was Saul Price's protege at Fedmart. Jeffrey Brotman came from a retailing family and at an early age started as a grocery bagger. Sometimes I forget your humble roots. Together, they created Costco, and within the same year, they had opened two other big warehouses, one in Spokane and the other in Oregon. About eight years later, an American businessman named Sam Walton opened his own version of a large discount retail department store. He decided to name his store Walmart. He made Saul Price an offer to merge with him, but Price refused. And that, my friends, is called integrity. However, in 1993, Costco and Price Club agreed to emerge instead. Saul Price felt that Costco and Price Club were more in line with the same concept, which would make a merge easier. Together, they had 206 locations and made $16 billion in annual sales. In 1994, all of the locations were rebranded again to Costco Wholesale Corporation. Tap that screen for another great video, and to all our subscribers, thanks, and be sure to ring that notification bell.